Are you looking for a build that can snap ankles? That can catch some serious bodies in the paint? That can unlock pro dribble moves and dunk on anybody standing in your way? And of course, shoot big, fat greens from deep? Then you have clicked on the right video because I got the perfect build for you. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Kitty, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys the best slasher build on NBA 2K21. The best slasher build on NBA 2K21. This is my official build in NBA 2K21. The weight is over, people. The weight is over. This build by far is like one of the best builds that I have ever created and my favorite build to play on. I have so much fun playing on this build and I guarantee you, if you make this build, you will have fun playing on it as well. If you have not seen my official slasher mixtape that I just dropped the other day, please make sure you check that video out. I will leave that video link in the description below or you can also click the link at the top right of your screen and you will be able to find that video. All right, so let's get right into how to make this build okay so as you can see we are going to make this build a shooting guard my build is left-handed and you could choose whatever jersey number that you like but of course I went with 23 on this build as far as the pie chart goes we're gonna go with this pie chart right here this is the third pie chart down as you can see it's the third pie chart down it's the one that has a little bit more blue than green pay attention to that it has more blue than green so you can get Hall of Fame finishing on this build but that's the only Hall of Fame badge you can get you only can get Hall of Fame blue on this build but it is a reason why I did that and you will see later on alright so for the physical profile you're gonna go with the first pie chart because that's the one with the most speed and speed is key in this game and is very deadly especially on this build Oh my God, it's, this build goes crazy, you guys. All right, so for these attributes, just you want to make sure you do exactly what I do. Exactly what I do. Max out close shot. Max out your driving layup and your driving dunk. And then for your standing dunk, we're going to leave it right there. Leave it right there at 51. That'll give you 16 finishing badges and you don't want to touch post hook. When it comes down to the shooting, max out mid-range. Max out three-point max out your free throw and then for your post fade we're gonna leave the post fade right there at 64 right to win you want to cut it off when you get 17 shooting badges all right ball handle max that out and for pass accuracy you want to leave it at 77 because right at 77 that's when you get the 13 playmaking yeah 77 you don't have don't max it out to 78 don't do that Leave it at 77 for the pass accuracy. And for the defense, defensive attributes, what we're going to do, max out perimeter defense, max out lateral quickness, max out your steal. Go ahead and max out your defensive rebound. See, right now we have five defensive badges. But we want to, yeah, put the rest on block, okay? So your block, leave that at 49. Put the rest of your defensive uh, attributes on block. So that'll give us 16 finishing, 17 shooting, 13 playmaking, and 7 defensive badges. Okay, for the body type, I went with defined on my build. You could choose whichever one you want. For the height, my player is 6'5". Leave it at 6'5". For the weight, take the weight all the way down. Take the weight all the way down. And this is where... This is the key to making this build, okay? This right here, when it comes down to the wingspan. You want, so this year, you know, the higher you make your wingspan, that's how you're driving dunk. Your finishing stats and your defensive stats go up, but your shooting stats and your playmaking goes down. But this is what I did, y'all. This is what I did. My wingspan on my slasher build is maxed out all the way. You want to put your wingspan all the way up and look what that does to your driving dunk. 84 driving dunk off rip. This build gets Pro contact dunks off rip. Pro contact dunks off rip. 
Now, that does knock your three-point down and your mid-range down four points. But you still get that 75 three-point and the 77 mid-range. And I promise you, that's all you need. That's all you need. I green consistently all day on this build. All day on this build. And it boosts up your defensive stats as well. Okay, now, knocks your ball handle down to uh, a 79. But all you need now, since the latest patch... You just need the 80 ball handle to get the pro dribble moves. You'll get pro dribble moves at 96 overall on this build. At 96 overall, you can unlock the pro dribble moves. And also at 96, you get the 85 driving dunk, so you will be able to get elite contact dunks. This build can get all the contact dunks. All the contact dunks, all the dribble moves. It, it it just gets crazy and then at 99 see i already got my slash build at 99 i will show you guys an updated video on that so you can see what my build looks like with the 99 stats i promise you it's insane it's insane best build in the game by far people would not know how to guard you now these are the four takeovers you get to choose for from of course you get the slash and takeover i suggest using the slash and takeover if you know what i'm saying if you know the main thing you're going to be doing with this build is dunking and you want to unlock those crazy contact dunk animations when you're in takeover go with the slash and takeover they're not going to stop you in the paint you're going to be bulldozing over people in the paint you're going to be dunking like crazy shot created takeover now i don't suggest using shot create take on it over <laughs> on this build it'll give you a boost to your shooting stats and stuff like that but i really I don't I don't recommend picking that one. Now you can do lock take on this build because we did max out the wingspan. That's why you can choose the lock take. You can choose lock take if you want. Now with me personally on my build, I did go with playmaking takeover. I went with playmaking takeover just for the sole purpose of me wanting to break ankles and make dudes fall when I'm in takeover. That is the only reason why I went with playmaking take. But this year, if you choose playmaking take. Since the latest patch, you can break angles and make people fall, but playmaking takeover this year does work as like Hall of Fame Dimer. And since I made this build a shooting guard, I can't get Dimer. So the bonus is when I'm in playmaking takeover, I pass the ball to somebody. Bro, it's like they green automatically just because I'm in playmaking take. So it does give a great boost to um your teammates once you pass them the ball once you're in playmaking take but that is exactly what i did for my build i went with playmaking take so i'm gonna go ahead and continue and there you have it this is my official build this is my slasher build in nba 2k21 this is my main build if you um have been coming into my twitch streams you know i tw i live stream 2k on twitch at it's kid underscore this is the build that i play with or sometimes i play with my play shot but this is my main build and people been you know want to know how did i make my build and things like that but this is it this is my official official build right here i'm going to show you guys the badges that i run on this build the badges that i use Okay, as far as finishing badges goes, of course, you want to have Hall of Fame <clears throat> contact and Hall of Fame slithery. I also use Showtime on silver and Fast Break Finisher on silver because these two badges give you a boost to your takeover. Showtime gives you a boost to your team's takeover once you do a fancy, flashy dunk or complete an N1. And I play a lot of Rick. And fast break finisher, when you're running on fast breaks, you finish the ball. You dunk on fast, on a fast break, you get a boost to your takeover. That's why I use that badge as well. And I use Hall of Fame Relentless Finisher. Now, sometimes I do switch it up and I don't run um, Showtime a fast break finisher. And I'll use consistent finisher and fancy footwork. Or sometimes I put on Giant Slayer and stuff like that. But mainly this this right here this is my finishing bad setup right here majority of the time as far as shooting badges goes on this build i use silver corner specialist gold catch and shoot green machine range extender hot zone hunter dead eye and that's about it well sometimes i'll switch it up 
And I don't, no, I don't have my green machine all the way up on this build. I take that back, yeah. This is my shooting, my shooting bad setup for this build, when I'm playing on this build. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And as far as playmaking badges, these are the playmaking badges I use. And defensive badges, I go with... Yep. That's what I that's what I run for the de defense majority of the time. But that is pretty much it. That is pretty much it. That is my official slash build. But if you have not, like I said earlier, if you've not checked out my mixtape of my slash build, make sure you go ahead and check that out as soon as possible. And if you have not followed me on Twitch yet, please make sure you follow me on Twitch at it's kid underscore. I live stream on Twitch. I try to live stream on Twitch about anywhere between four to five days a week. That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to be more consistent on there. So y'all make sure y'all come through and check me out and chill with me while I'm live streaming. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell.